Hello my fellow comic book collectors. Today is going to be a kind of a special unboxing. I picked up a very inexpensive collection in this box. and It's going to be in this box. Uh, basically, um, I've been collecting a very interesting uh, series of books. Um, it's called the Christian Spire uh, collection. <laughs> and basically, Christian Spire was this publishing company that ran from 1972 to 1982. And um, they produced like religious like comics. Uh, a lot of them were kind of very um, pro-capitalist, pro-religious um, messaging. And um, a good example of that uh, is one, one of my favorite comics, actually, uh, is this one. So it's, it's, you know, against socialism, it's against Nazism, uh, and it's a, it has a very Christian-based story. And this is Hensi, the girl who loved the swastika. And this is from 1972. So this is one of their first uh, published works. Uh, you know, from that first year. And they also produced stuff where they, they actually, you know, they, they did a lot against, <laughs> they didn't really like the Nazis too much. Uh, this is The Hiding Place. And it talked about, uh, you know, the Jews and, um, you know, how Christians helped try to save some of the Jews. Um, so, yeah, so these are <laughs> some of the, some of the things that they produced, uh, kind of very uh, Christian propaganda, I guess, would be uh, the way to refer to their company. Now, the interesting thing about uh, Christian Spire is actually one of their writers slash artists that worked at Christian Spider, Spy, Spire uh, was um, uh, Al Hartley, and he also worked on Archie. So he was able to get like access to all the Archie characters, and they were able to to use those characters, those Archie characters, in these religious comics. So it, there's a lot of cool comics as a result where they have these Archie characters with these strong Christian stories. So I'm going to show you a collection I picked up. It's nine books from the Christian Spire one, and let's see what's inside. Okay, so I'm going to open it up. Uh, so it's well packaged, I can say that. Okay, I always a little bit nervous, uh, you know, cutting these things because you don't want to cut into the comics. It's like here, that kind of get past the the wrap. And got to be really careful so I don't cut the comics. And at least they use the painter tape, which is. You know, the painter's tape is a little bit better. Okay. So I got past all of the packaging. <laughs> that's that's the important part. And I'm going to show you this collection. It was, just, as I said, it was I was pretty happy when I won. Uh, it was $10, so basically a dollar a comic. A uh, very inexpensive win. Uh, I didn't, nobody bid on it, so <laughs> that was always good. Uh, and I got them fairly fairly affordably. Um, so I'm not 100% familiar with all the titles for Christian Spire, um, but this will give you a little, it's more of a, like a taste in it, of what some of their titles were. So obviously, as I said, uh, their books were very religious based, <laughs> okay? Uh, because it is Christian Spire, so you'd expect that. Uh, so here's the first one, God Is. <laughs> and you can see, as I said, it's art, uh, Al Hartley. And, um, you know, it's kind of a <laughs> kind of a cool little title. Uh, the way that they bagged and boarded these is they put two comics together. So that's the first one. And on the back, we got God Smuggler. <laughs> and it's like uh, uh, a guy who sm smuggles um, Bibles into uh, the Soviet Union. Because the Soviet Union... Most people don't realize this about uh, socialist states or communist states is um, they're, they're very non-religious. They actually fight against religion and religion is often outlawed in uh, communist states because really the religion of the society is the communism. <laughs> so uh, this is one of those cases where uh, 
you have uh, this god smuggler where he's bringing Bibles into uh, the Soviet Union. So that's kind of kind of cool. Okay, and and like some of these titles are just so wacky and, and kind of cool. Um, here's an example of that: Barney <laughs> Barney Bear Toyland. I, I have no idea what this is about. Just kind of quirky kind of comics. I, I think these are really interesting uh, comics that they've created. Uh, I have no idea what this is about. And then on the back, as I said, they had, you know, access to these um, Archie comics. And this is Archie Clean Slate. I believe this is like sort of an anti-drug uh, comic. And again, it's by uh, Al Hartley. <laughs> so I just think this is really nice, uh, really funny. This is from 1975. And actually, it's interesting because they put their original, how much they paid, I got this for all for 10 bucks. Uh, it was $9.99. Um, and this is from 1975. He paid five bucks for it. <laughs> so I, I feel bad for the guy. He, he I got a really great deal from him. Um, and again, this is a really interesting title. This is uh, David Whitaker, uh, uh, Willaker, Will, Will, ah, sorry, Will Kerson's uh, switch, uh, the, the, the cross and the switchblade <laughs> i don't know maybe something about uh, gangs and uh christianity so just really interesting kind of fun titles uh i you know actually that was one of the titles i really wanted that and the god smuggler or two that i thought were really cool and on the back it's another comic he paid 10 bucks for this oh my goodness i <laughs> i feel really bad now um this is crossfire you know and it's just like some I have no idea. Some crime or something. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> that's really odd. And then we got another one. Um, Kitty's Christian Comics. And it's Noah's Ark. You know, the traditional story of Noah's Ark. Uh, and then we got on the back, Born Again. And this is the story of uh, Chuck Colson. Uh, yeah. It's talking about <laughs> how I guess he worked for the Nixon, Nixon White uh, White House, and you know this is like obviously from the early seventies. Um, you know now now a major motion picture. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, down with Nixon. You know this is all really interesting stuff. So um, and then we got the last one is Attack. And uh, this is probably some uh, thing about maybe um, it's like the Japanese flag. So I'm going to guess something about the Second World War. Um, so, yeah, kind of interesting. <laughs> These are Christian Spire. So, um, you know, just kind of a cool little collection. Um, I'm trying to pick up a few title, a few more titles. There's a bunch of Archie ones that I'd like to pick up. Uh, and ever, whenever I see like a lot where it's a like several comics all together um, for Christian Spire and it's like at a really low bid, um, I generally try to pick them up, you know, try to get you know them for a good deal. There's been so like I, I was surprised there's been some that have been really, really uh, pricey, like the Hensi one that I showed you. This is a pricey book. <laughs> this is like you look this one up. This is a high grade, too. Um, very rare and very highly sought after book. Probably the they are cream of the cro cream of the crop book for the Christian Spire collection. Uh, and it's just because it's such a weird, uh, you know, it looks <laughs> like it looks like something pro Nazi, but it's actually the opposite. Um, so just really interesting. Um, I love I love these books that have a little bit of history, a little bit of quirkiness. So that's why I collect these stuff. I, I, I seem to collect a lot of things. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of history about Christian Spire. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.